Hello and welcome to the third annual Heart Softball Media Day. I'm your host, Reagan Harrell of at NAISB, home of Premier Independent NAI Softball Coverage. Today we are joined by second year head coach of Missouri v- Valley Vikings, Kelly James and Kim Horson. Coach and Kim, how are y'all doing? We're doing good. How are you? Fantastic. Uh, coach, how's preseason practices going uh, so far and how's the team shaping up for this year? Um, we just got going. Um, I'm excited that everybody is back. They had a great, um, winter break. Um, as you know, in the Midwest right now, we're kind of dealing with weather, but, um, we're working around it. Uh, the team's really excited to be back and be back together. Um, the fall, uh, we dealt with a lot of adversity and this group really bonded and really gelled and they're coming back ready, ready to go for this upcoming season. Awesome. Uh, Coach, can you introduce us to Kim and t- just uh, talk about how much she means to your program? Yeah. So this is Kim's third year with us. Uh, she is our left-handed pitcher. Um, just just an absolute stud on the mound, on and off the field, too. Uh, she's really involved on campus. She helps out with our assistant athletic director in charge of game day, game day operations. So when you don't see her in a softball uniform, you probably see her at another event helping run it, make sure everything's going smoothly. But on the field, uh, I mean, she has just been a blessing to our program. Um, Hard worker, really dedicated. Uh, Last year, um, she did just a phenomenal job. Uh, She broke some personal records and I know she is chasing those records this year and breaking, wanting to bring, break some more this upcoming season. Awesome. Looking forward to seeing it. Kim, can you tell us a little bit about your softball journey and when did you start playing and how did you fall in love with the sport of softball? Um, I started playing back home in the Netherlands because one of my friends, she was playing it, so I joined her. But we only have club ball. And then later on, I got contacted if I wanted to play college ball in America. So obviously, like, I really wanted to. And then I went to Juco in Illinois. And then from there, I came here. And, yeah, now we're here. (laughs) Well, off the field, uh, tell us a little bit about that. What's your major and what are some of your career aspirations after Missouri Valley? Uh, I just finished my undergrad in marketing and am starting a master's in education and administration this year. Um, like coach said, I'm involved with, the. I'm helping the athletic director, assistant athletic director, Mm -hmm. and I'm really liking that so far. I would like to see like, if I could do more of this and if if I could stay here and maybe after I get my master's, see if there's a job here somewhere for me. Awesome. Well, tell us a little bit about the your Viking teammates. I mean, just how much fun are they to be around, and wh- what do y'all do to, ha- to have fun, stay loose during the season? Um, well, they're a lot of fun. <laughs> we all miss each other a lot. We're glad to see each other again. Uh, we do a- everything. The one thing that we like practice wise is that whenever we get like further into season, we get a yoga day. We really, all really like that. We're excited for that. Uh, right now, there's not a lot to do except from playing in the snow and sledding. And that's what we do outside of softball right now. Yeah, I, 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 do, I do feel bad, bad for you. I've joked with a, a couple of coaches, but it, it, it does suck. It down here in Florida, we got just frig- we, we're going to get in the 40s next week. So, uh, <laughs> yeah. But, you better bundle up. Hey. Yeah, <laughs> uh, coach, uh, you're originally from California. I mean, let's let's hear about your softball journey and how did you end up at Missouri Valley? Mm-hmm. Yeah, so um, I played travel ball, just kind of your typical softball story. Played travel ball. Uh, my dream was to go to college and continuing my career along with edu- uh, my education. Uh, Missouri Valley College um, reached out to me uh, my senior year of high school. Uh, love the small town, love the community here, uh, decided to come to Missouri Valley College, uh, played uh, for my coaches here and got my degree in biology, as well as my master's in education 
uh, education administration, um, and then was offered the job last year as head coach. Um, there's just something about this town, just love the community um, and just the support system that is here at Missouri Valley College. And that's what drew me in to stay here and wanting to build this softball program. I, it's it's got to be great doing it there at Missouri Valley for you. And like you said, you took over uh, being the head coach last year, now moving into year two. What's it going to take for or, uh, your program to continue climbing up the heart standings and where you, uh, you want the program to go? Yeah, we got to keep him. Uh, we got to keep putting in the work. Um, we we have to grind. We got to work on just the basic fundamentals and realizing where what we missed last year and what we need to do for this year. Um, again, most of these girls have been here for the past two years. We fell short the past two years and are playing with a chip on their shoulder. They know now what it's going to take and they're hungry to to put in the work to get to the next step sounds like it's going to be a really uh self-motivated driven team uh kim mm -hmm. what are some of the team goals this season making it at the conference tournament That's the big <laughs> one. well you missed it two years in a row by like one, one game, game so we don't want that to happen again we're we're coming for it all <laughs> You know, Coach, what about for you? What are some of the team goal, goals for you? Is, is making the Heart of America Conference, is that the is that, that that's the goal? That's what we want to do this year? Yeah, that is definitely a goal. Uh, our team motto is win as one. So we have to learn how to work together. I think last year we really started to capture that saying. And this year um, it's in full effect now. So it's not just working on our own craft, but building up each other as teammates and knowing each other's role and how we're going to help each other and support each other to get to that goal. Um, a lot, there's a lot of competition this year, uh, healthy competition uh, between teammates. And I'm seeing a lot of the girls interacting with each other, even though they're competing for the same spot. It's like, hey, you're building me up. I'm gonna build you up. And because this is what we need to do to take the next step. So first goal is to conquer that one as one motto and continuing with that. Um, and, and just be, another goal is just to be uh, better humans and involved, even more involved on campus um, and within the community. Um, I think if we gain that support, um, that's going to help build us up as well. Yeah, I mean, I, I, it's kind of like the Heart America Conference. I mean, there's a lot of great teams that ultimately makes makes y'all one of the better softball conferences mm -hmm. Uh in the in the country um coach but before before heart of america's uh conference play starts up y'all have some really good non-conference tournaments y'all be going to can you tell us a little bit about those yeah uh we'll be returning to kansas city for a tournament as well as a tournament in wichita um and we'll be going out to columbia as well uh if we want to get uh better in the conference we got to play better competition um I started that last year and this year I continued it. So um, I, I want to put my team up against those big dogs because I think that's going to make us better. Uh, and we're going to learn how to compete uh, with those top teams so that once we come into season, we're ready to go. Kim, how excited are you to get back out there and play in those tournaments? So excited. <laughs> it was a lot of fun last year, especially with the competition and like the level being like high and, where we want to be. So yeah, we're really excited to get it going. Coach, can you tell us a little bit about your uh, coaching staff uh, yeah, and, and and just talk about the process of, of filling out uh, the, the coaching staff uh, over the last couple of seasons for you? Yeah, so uh, my graduate assistant from last year returned, uh, Clarissa Hagler. Uh, she is also an alumni from, uh, from Missouri Valley College. Uh, she was a phenomenal shortstop, so she's been great at training um, our infielders. Um, and then we actually have Bo's twin, or sorry, Kim's twin sister, Bo, who just joined our coaching staff as well. Um, and she has been helping us with the outfield. Um, I think it starts from the top down, uh, the relationships that uh, Cl Clarissa, Bo, and I have um, is we're 
we like to have fun together, but we're also straightforward with each other. We have um, great communication um, and we talk about what we need to do. And I trust them, um, what they bring to me and what they see, I may not see. So we're going to work together to provide uh, what we need practice wise and game wise for our athletes. Um, we support our athletes. 110 percent whatever they need they know our doors open they can come talk to us about anything um so and i feel like our athletes really come to us uh, for anything and you know it helps in our office we have snacks so they're all about that <laughs> but um i think i think this coaching staff i'm really excited for this year based off of our coaching staff and what uh model we have set for our team I'm really excited uh, to watch, watch the coaching staff and the team uh, at Missouri, Missouri Valley College. Kim, uh, one last fun question to wrap things up. What will your walk-up song be in 2024? I'm thinking about – well, I had, an, I had one, but I might go with a new one, so it's probably going to be Centuries. I'm not sure who's by, but – Hold up, boys. Mm, maybe. Maybe. No clue. <laughs> no clue. <laughs> But yeah, that's well, it. <laughs> we'll find out soon enough. I'm sure uh, everybody at the games are going to love hearing it. But uh, that'll wrap things up. Kim, Coach, really appreciate y'all coming on. Thank you so much for your time and best of luck this season. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you for having us.